I built a PC in October of 2019 in order to have something that could run MATLAB and play high-end video games. It was a fun process, but there were times when building that I almost had a heart attack, and there were definitely things that I did wrong. This video isn't for advice on what components to buy or how to build, rather it's a small retrospective on my process. Lesson number one, research your dimensions. I didn't realise how big modern graphics cards are. I mean, those things are hefty pieces of hardware and are almost always the highest priced component of any build. So make sure that your case is wide enough to provide sufficient clearance, both to fit the card as it sticks out from its slot on the motherboard and to accommodate enough room for the power supply cables. Make sure that the cables don't press against the side of the case, else you could cause permanent heat damage to the glass, as in my case. Lesson two, dust maintenance. You can be in the most ventilated room in the world and you'll still be getting dust. That's because the case fan and the PSU fan are huge dust magnets, and I was shocked to find out just how much had gathered when I looked at the back of my case for the first time after a few months of use. Not dusting can affect the cooling efficiency and drive up temperatures. Lesson 3. Motherboard screws. This one hurts. Read the manual so that you're not like me. I was about halfway to screwing down the motherboard before I realised that I'd used the wrong ones. Nothing was suspicious at first, they seemed the right size, they fit the holes, but then the problem came when I realised I couldn't unscrew them, even with a power drill. Take things slowly, and read the manual. Lesson 4. Cable management. When you first build, it's less important, as you simply need to make sure everything is working and connected correctly. After a bit of use, however, it's good for both aesthetics and airflow to use the cable ties provided with the case to secure some wires behind some compartments. Lesson 5. Sufficient cooling. Unfortunately, my AMD CPU gets up to the high 80s and 90s quite frequently, and this is due to insufficient cooling from both the case and the CPU stock fan itself. For the longevity of your components, I would research a case that has at least two fan slots, and investing in an aftermarket CPU cooler to improve where manufacturers have dropped the ball a little. Looking back, I feel like kicking myself over some of my mistakes, which could have been avoided with a little more research time and patience. I hope these tales of caution help someone watching this.